This week's Color Rescue, we're talking about the five trends to say goodbye to in 2024. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Maria Killam, and it is my mission in life to help you create a home that you'll love forever every time you walk in the door. And trends are a huge part of that conversation. Now, before we go any further, I just would like to clarify that this is not one of those entertaining, oh, dining rooms are out, we should turn them into libraries instead, kind of trends reports. This one is gonna hurt if you've already made these mistakes. So if you're finished your renovation, it's best that you don't watch this one, okay? This one is best for those of you who are starting a renovation, starting a new build, and you've noticed that you have made some trendy mistakes in the past. You know, usually when you get a little older, you start to notice that, oh, like, wow, I really wish I hadn't put in that backsplash tile that was super busy and blotchy and I hated it, you know, after 10 minutes. And well, now I'm building again, or now I'm renovating the next room in my house, and I wanna make some more timeless choices this time. So if that's you, keep watching. But if you're done, watch one of my other videos about decorating and styling, because those are the things that can cover up so many mistakes that you might make with your hard finishes anyway. Distract the eye, that is the best tip ever when it comes to fixing color mistakes that you've made in your house. Now, if you've been following me for a long time, you already will have a sense of what's gonna come next. But if you've just found me, I've been writing a blog for 15 years about timeless design. And you may or may not like my aesthetic, for example. It's a little more colorful and Southern than what's trending right now. However, if you start looking around at my portfolio, you cannot really deny that I know how to pull a room together with color. If you start Clicking around in my blog, you will find hundreds of posts on how to take that room that's kind of meh and how to make it so much better. That's what I've been doing for 25 years. That is my joy. And look, we have all made trendy mistakes. We have all fallen in love with trends. They are so sneaky. They make you feel like I have always loved gray. I've always loved black. And so why wouldn't I just like paint my whole entire house, cover it all in this shade that I love? But I'm here to tell you that if you have not already gone through a decade of decorating inside of a trend and then getting tired of it, then what I'm trying to get you to do is to step back and like step outside of the jar, right? Because following trends is kind of like being in the, inside the jar when you can't see the label. And when you're outside looking at the label, you can make much better and more informed choices. Because here's the thing, it's just best if all the things that are expensive, those things you can't easily rip out, are the timeless pieces. You know, pull in all the trendy elements when it comes to the soft stuff, right? Your drapery, your area rugs, throw pillows, wallpaper, right? I mean, Wallpaper is a great place to bring in your personality, easy to remove when you get tired of it. And it doesn't matter if trend forecasters say wallpaper is in or out. No one is gonna like your wallpaper once you put it in your house. Once they move in, they're not gonna like it. It's like art, but it's fine because you can take it out. Much easier to do than renovating a kitchen done entirely in a trend. So let's get started. So it's definitely going to sound like I'm picking on black. And I am, I am, because it's being completely overdone right now. Trend number one that I would like to see the back end of in 2024 is black plumbing fixtures and along with that, black hardware. Especially if you don't have a room that has a big piece of black in it. So if you've got a kitchen or a bathroom without a black countertop, for example, then there really is no place in that space to install black hardware and black faucets. The eye just kind of bounces around to all the little bitty black things that's all over the bathroom and the kitchen without that piece to ground it. That means that black hardware is also not an update for a dated kitchen. 
That's one mistake I'm seeing happening a lot right now as well. Are people just taking an old 90s kitchen, for example, and just slapping up black hardware. And that black still doesn't relate to anything. So avoid that mistake if you can. And I get it. You go to the big box stores and black is just everywhere. And it seems so new and edgy and cool. And I get it. But too much black instantly becomes harsh, flat, and predictable. So avoid this trend. The little black dress of faucets is chrome or polished nickel. And hardware is not far behind. You can do it in gold as well because that's also easy to change out in the hardware and the lighting. I believe that even though silver is coming on strong and trending big time in 2024, I still think there's a timeless place for gold because it's not the shiny brass of the 80s. And that's why I think that you can do the mix with silver and gold and still have a beautiful timeless bathroom or kitchen. In 2016, I went to Maison Objet in Paris. And for those of you that don't know, it's a major French trade show held twice a year for interior design. I saw black everywhere and declared black to be the new gray. Well, little did I know how huge this trend was going to be. I believe the reason why people think black is the answer for everything is articulated really well by my director of e-design, Trisha Fermaniak. And she said, the consumer feels empowered because the answer seems simple. They have popular permission. It's all over social media and they get to be bold at the same time as they get to be conservative. Black seems so simple of an answer and yet almost obvious, but I'm here to tell you, nobody needs to tell you when you've overdosed on black. You will instantly feel it the minute you have too much black in your house. And that's what I'm trying to warn you is gonna happen, okay? The other reason why I think black and white is so big is because it is the very definition of simplicity. When you think about it, there are many different undertones in beige and in gray. That's why I invented my neutral color wheel with the nine most useful neutrals on the front and then the four most useful whites on the back because there are so many different shades, light and dark, like which one is it? But black, well, it's just black, isn't it? Which brings me to the linear black light fixture, especially the spidery ones. Once this trend is over, people will be so offended by black because it's being completely overdone. Did I mention that? I think I might have said that once or twice already. Number three, called paint it black. Just paint it black. It just seems like a good idea for any paint dilemma. And I'm here to tell you that if moody is what you're looking for, there are so many other amazing colors that you can choose from to create a moody and fabulous space. Because don't forget that a dark space needs lighting. You need the light to bounce off the walls. You need sconces on the walls. And if you would like a curated list of 50 paint colors that you could choose from for something dark and dramatic, I sell a collection of 50 large paint samples on my shop page in Sherwin-Williams or Benjamin Moore. And that will help you create a look that's much less predictable than just the black accent wall that everybody has right now. Number four is black exteriors. If you're still watching, you're gonna know that everything I've been saying about black definitely applies to a black exterior. And there's actually very few exteriors that look good, all painted black, and your house probably isn't one of them. The first thing, you need greenery, like copious amounts of it, all around black. I mean, think about a black fence with a lot of green in front of it, fabulous. But most people don't have that. Same goes for the accent walls that people are slapping up on their exteriors that, that if they're not black, well, then they're white, all right? I mean, I can talk about that trend another day. However, have you ever seen an accent wall on an exterior until this trend came along? No, which is why the black accent wall slapped on top of your white exterior in hopes of making it look different from your neighbors is a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, don't do it. And number five, please, no more black kitchens. The other day on social media, I saw a kitchen someone had posted. The photography was bad. There was no styling. They had just finished it. It was black from top to bottom. And they said, isn't my black kitchen fabulous? And I thought, aw, they're looking for validation because it's really bad. 
So there are so few kitchens that look amazing and all the ones that do are on social media. Those are the ones you're pinning onto your Pinterest boards as inspiration. And all everybody does is go rah, rah. Isn't it great? It's the most bold and fabulous choice. And I'm telling you, it's just gonna be a black hole in your kitchen without so many details that if you're doing this on your own, you will miss because even designers have a hard time pulling it off and really making it look beautiful. So skip the black kitchen, choose a color and keep your countertops and backsplashes in the world of white or cream marble and your kitchen will be timeless for so much longer than your neighbor's black kitchen. And if you're still with me and you wanna learn more about how to create a classic and timeless home you'll love forever, Join me for How to Create Your Dream Home in February and in April in 2024. And if you're a designer, I'll be in Chicago at the end of May. And if you'd like help with your new build, your renovation, your kitchen, or your bathroom, I have a full e-design department where we work with clients all around the world and especially in North America to help them create a kitchen or bathroom that they'll love. So I'll post all the links below and I hope you'll subscribe if you like this content and I'll see you next time.